All right, my finish has dried. It's actually dried 24 hours. Now, one thing I did want to check since I, mi I marked the drawers at the beginning, remember. And yeah, this one, the middle one at least fits everywhere. Yeah, the drawers all fit in all the spots, which can be an issue in some pieces of furniture. Um, so what are my thoughts? I think these are good, solid pieces of furniture. I think they're well worth the money. I mean, this was just a little bit more than a Dollar Tree piece, and it, what, it is a much better piece of furniture. Um, be sure and check the blog post. I'm going to give a more thorough review of the piece, along with photos of what I see as flaws in this piece of furniture, because there are a few. There's a few things, like this drawer is crooked. Um, but I'm going to give my thoughts and what I think would be solutions for the issues that I'm seeing. But, and also whether I think there will be more pieces of this furniture series on the channel. If there are items that you would like to see reviews on and see me play with, be sure and let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you enjoy my content and haven't subscribed, be sure and hit that subscription button and the notification bell so you know when I put up a new video. Thank you very much for watching today and I'll talk to you next time. Bye! Alright, so I recently picked up this little piece of Hobby Lobby dollhouse furniture. It's a little cabinet with drawers. I'd call it a nightstand probably. Um, I thought we would play around with it on the channel. I know a lot of you have been using these in different projects and I wanted to see what it was like, what the quality was like for $1.99. What's the quality like? Is it better than Dollar Tree? Is it about the same? How does it take paint and stain? All those questions. So I, it's nice and smooth. It feels pretty good. It's a good weight of uh, wood. I wonder if these, I am going to get, do I have a pencil? I don't have a pencil, I've got a pen. I'm actually going to label the bottom of these drawers, just in case they don't. And this is what I do sometimes in real furniture too. I'll, we'll try them in the other positions later, but this way I can kind of see how they fit. Drawers are not bad. That one's not quite glued straight. Yeah, the drawers are off a little bit. The fronts are kind of wobbly. But I like the bones of this. I like the style. I think it looks nice. It's a little rough on top. So I'm going to use a little bit of sandpaper. I wish I could find my finer grit, but I can't. So I'm going to go ahead and sand this down. I'm actually going to go find a piece of craft paper and do the final sanding with that. And then we are going to play with some penetrating stain on the case part and some paint finishes on the drawer fronts. So I'll be right back. All right, I just did a light sanding and then I used a piece of craft wrapping paper to do a final sanding. This is about the same weight as a paper bag. That's a good final sanding material in case you didn't know that. And I've kind of wiped this off. I'll Wipe it off with a paper towel a little better. Now the only penetrating stain I have on hand is the ebony that we used on the shingles for the dollhouse, for the Beechwood bungalow. So this is not necessarily a piece of furniture I'm ever going to use anyway. This is more a test. I wanted to see for $1.99 what I was getting. So I'm going to use the black stain. Applying it like you would normally. Now the reason I decided to go with a penetrating stain on part of this is this will be a good indicator as to how neat they were with their glue. Because penetrating stain and glue do not get along. If you have penetrating stain, if you've got glue on your surface, typically you'll end up with a light spot. And so far, anyway, this is looking pretty good. I'm probably getting stain all over my fingers, which I really did not want to do because I got to go somewhere tomorrow. But 
messy. And I mean really messy. <laughs> That's why I covered my work surface with a piece of um, freezer paper. All right, I have a good coat on there. Now let's take a clean paper. First, let's cover that stain up. Now, okay, it's not bad. I am plus, I'm very pleased with the way the stain is looking. I mean, I've not necessarily a color I would normally use to stain a piece of furniture, but it looks pretty good. It covered really well. There's one spot that didn't, and I'm not sure if that's because I missed it or if there's glue there. So I'm going to dig this back out. That might be a glue spot. Yeah. yeah, I think there's a little bit of glue done in that crack, in that crevice, but that's really the only very tiny spot there. Oh, God. Got all over my fingers. Not bad. I'm going to let this dry. Um, I'm going to clean up my mess. And I will go get a couple of colors of paint. And we will paint the drawer fronts with a couple of colors and see what we can find out about that. All right, I got most of the wood stain off my fingers. I've got a brush and my apple red from Folk Art. I'm going to do the drawers in red. I don't know why, it just seemed like a good idea at the time. I do like black and red together, so we'll see how this looks. Like I said, this is just a piece for fun. It's not a piece I'm going to be using, at least not in the near future in the dollhouse. But I thought it would be a good, it would be fun to test the piece and see what we're getting for our money for $1.99. Can we get a piece of dollhouse furniture that is nice for that price or because the prices on these are really good. They're not quite as good as Dollar Tree, but almost. And it would be certainly be fun to do some furniture flips with them, especially if they're better quality. I mean, we know the furniture from Dollar Tree is horrible, but it's fun to play with. And these do have a lot of features, like the drawers that work. They have working drawers. They have, they're a little more better put together, they appear. So I'm going to paint all three of the drawers, the drawer fronts, not the rest of the drawer, because typically in a piece of furniture you would only do the drawer fronts. And then when this paint is completely dry, we'll come back. We're going to overpaint some metallic on the door, drawer knobs. And then when everything has dried overnight, we can put a clear finish on and take a look at our completed dresser. So I'll be back when this red is dry. All right, I'm very happy with how the paint coated. One coat has coated very nicely in most spots. So let's paint these door, these drawer poles. And I've got out the burnished metal uh, in gold that Plaid sent me. Um, I'm just gonna paint that right over the red. I do like to put metallics over different colors for different effects. Um, And I'm only going to do one on camera and I'll do the rest off, but I'm just going to put a nice coat of gold paint over that knob. But so far I'm very, very happy with um, the quality of this little piece of furniture. So I'll paint the rest of these off camera and then when this has plenty of time to dry since this stain I want to have dry overnight, so tomorrow morning We'll put a clear coat on this and then we'll see how it looks once it's dry. So I'll be back when in the morning. All right, so this is all dried overnight and it took the paint really well, only one coat of paint. And that's so let's go ahead and put a coat of, of Satin Mod Podge on here really quickly. Then I'll let that dry today and then we'll come back and I'll talk to you about my thoughts about this. Since I'm in kind of a hurry, I'm just going to use it directly out of the bottle, which I don't normally do, but this has dried overnight. So 
So I will be putting a coat of Satin Mod Podge on the whole thing, all the places that I've purposely stained and painted. And when this is dry, I will come back and give you my final thoughts. So I'll see you in a sec. Well, I picked up one of those little cheap pieces of furniture at Hobby Lobby the other day to try finishing, putting a finish on and do a review of. Stay tuned and see what I think of this little piece. <laughs> 